Afterward he tries reporting the incident, but since the defense ring is intact, the commander still assumes it was some kind of animal. Getting suspicious, someone decides to search the bunker for clues and is surprised to discover a blood stain on the wall behind some furniture. He brings a stool over and by testing the angle of his gun, he confirms that Vax 7 probably self-deleted. Desperate for answers, someone tries to access the security recordings but the system denies him access. Next, he breaks into Vax 7's locker and among his belongings he finds an old radio and a sketchbook. The drawing shows some refugees, the birds in the forest, Doc, and his own outpost making a connection to the neighboring post called Graham. Sadly someone doesn't understand the meaning. Weeks pass and someone can't stop thinking about the drawing, so he takes it with him and during his next territory check, he actually tries to visit Graham. However he discovers that he can't cross the perimeter because an implant in his leg makes him hurt as soon as he steps outside the ring. Someone doesn't give up and climbs a tree, waving his hand and reflecting sunlight on Vax 7's tag to try to get the attention of Graham's soldier, but nothing happens. When he returns to his outpost, someone decides to check the recordings of his own work when suddenly the computer fails and most screens go out. At that moment he sees himself on camera with something standing behind him, but when he turns around, the power goes out. His brace indicates there are no intrusions, but someone still looks around with a flashlight and rushes out to find the creature. He also shoots a flare for more visibility, but the only thing he finds are baby birds. The power comes back in the outpost, so someone rushes back to report the malfunction and the presence of the creature. The commander doesn't believe anything could have crossed the ring without an alarm because the rings have their own power supply, and promises to send a technician to check on the system soon. After hanging up, someone tries to access the archive again, but all the old stuff was lost because of the electrical surge. The only After hanging up, someone tries to access the archive again, but all the old stuff was lost because of the electrical surge. The only image left is the last few minutes, and someone confirms there was something behind him. The next day someone tries to go through the usual routine, but he starts feeling sick. He takes some medicine, but he's so upset and nervous that he breaks a glass when he tries to clean it. Suddenly he hears a children's song coming from the locker and discovers it's the radio. It's Kerr 4, the soldier at the Graham outpost, and he's asking for Vax 7. Someone tells him about the replacement and Kerr 4 immediately hangs up, saying communication among outposts is forbidden. Later the electricity surges again, so someone calls the commander to ask about the technician, who was supposed to be there days ago. The commander explains there was an attack on another post with no survivors, so the technician is moving slowly to avoid any unnecessary risks. After hanging up, someone tells Doc that he doesn't trust his superiors anymore. Days continue to pass and someone is still sick. While doing another territory check, he sees something moving inside some ruins and follows it to discover a mother with her child. He tries to appear friendly and offers his help to reach shelter, but the woman is too scared and runs away with a child. Someone immediately tries to follow them, but he steps on the ring limits and the leg implant stops him. Afterward, someone goes back and hears about an attack on another outpost. Tired and frustrated, someone ignores the voice and tells Doc about his dreams. It turns out that nobody dreams anymore nowadays, and those who do are seen as crazy, so someone hadn't told anyone until now because Doc is the only one he trusts. In the evening, someone tries using the radio to contact Kerr 4 again, but he never gets an answer. He decides to enter the forest at night for a change, and when he comes across a deer, he shoots it. Its antlers get stuck on a tree and someone proceeds to eat the animal raw, proving he's slowly losing his mind. In the morning, he shoots some cans just for fun and climbs a tree to try using the radio again. Kerr 4 continues to ignore him, and it makes him so angry that he starts yelling. On his way back, he stops when he sees a flower, which is a rare sight. At that moment the alarm announces incoming toxic emissions, and because someone isn't wearing his helmet, he falls as he begins to feel sick. In the distance, he notices a bunch of destroyed trees and the creature appearing again, but then he passes out. He wakes up the next morning feeling extremely dizzy and sends a message through the radio, telling Kerr 4 that the Nunsuch have infiltrated his area and they may have captured Vax 7. Afterward, someone returns to the outpost and waits for the days to pass while sketching in the notebook and talking to Doc. He doesn't go out anymore because he prefers the safety of the outpost. When there are only 14 days left, an alarm suddenly starts ringing, but it turns out it's the technician Mac, who confirms that he was delayed because of the attack on the other outpost. He saw the destruction of the building but not the victims, claiming that the cleaners had all